Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty and today is Sunday, June 19th, 2022. And this message is for this week or whenever you're hearing this message. To begin, it's Father's Day, so I want to send a special shout out to all of the dads out there, whether you are alive or deceased, wishing you a great day. I'm going to be pulling three cards. So decide if you would like to go with card number one, or card number two, or card number three. And we're going to start with the first card, which is card number one. So the card is Blessings. Let me bring it up here so you could see it. And this card is showing up today. First, I want to show you all of the colors in the card. The card has a lot of yellow and a lot of orange. So starting with the yellow color, the yellow represents our solar plexus chakra. And that is our chakra that is by our belly button. That chakra represents our power in a situation. Standing in your truth, standing in your power. And when the card blessings comes up, what it's truly asking you is to actually look at your life in this now moment and notice where you are giving your power away versus where you stand in your power, stand in your truth, feel most like yourself. And when you're in that space, in that energy, in that feeling where you're holding onto your power, you probably notice your blessings. You probably can see and be filled with gratitude. But when you're not fully in your power, when you are giving it away to, maybe you have a concern or a worry, maybe you have a fear that is coming up, maybe somebody wronged you in a situation, in a relationship. When you give away your power, are you able to notice still all of the blessings that you have around you? If you look at this card, this person is standing on a path, arms wide open, looking up into the sky, as if saying to God, I thank you for all the blessings that I have in my life. And in looking at this picture, we don't know what this person is actually going through. And you hear often, which is so true, you never know what anybody really is going through when you go day to day in life and pass people in the car, in the store, even in the workplace, wherever you are. But this person, imagine, might be going through struggles or have fears or worries, but is still looking up into the sky and saying, thank you. I am grateful for all of the blessings that I have. That is what this card is encouraging you to do as well as challenging you to do if that triggers you or that feels uncomfortable. Even in the obstacle, are you thanking and sending gratitude to the universe for all of your blessings? The other color in the card, which is actually more prominent, if you look here, is all this orange. And this is the sacral chakra. That's the chakra below your belly button. And that chakra represents emotional intelligence. Meaning that when you can step into this idea of what I just explained, of you looking at a situation, even if it's an obstacle, and still seeing the blessings in your life or the, the small blessings within the situation, maybe you're learning something, your wisdom grows, your emotional maturity happens. And that's a blessing in and of itself. Because when you can receive more wisdom through growth, you're able to see things from more than one perspective. You're able to step back and look at something from a different angle. And in doing that, you shine your light and you help others who maybe have a hard time doing that to look at things in a different way as well. 
So this card is inviting you to look at all of the blessings that you have in your life, big or small, and offer gratitude for them. That's card number one. Card number two is asking for help. So I just want to take a minute to look at this card. Okay. So this card, it, it looks like everybody's like at a park and they're all having a great time flying a kite, walking a dog, walking in a baby in a baby carriage. And we come back to this idea of, look, everybody looks like they are having a great time. And that's a blessing. And maybe in this now moment, each of those figures on the card are having a great time because they're in the moment, they're being present. But maybe after they leave this present moment, they need help because they're experiencing something that is causing them a concern or a fear is rising up or they just need support because they're going through something. And this is a community of people, even though they're not next to each other. So when in your life you need help or you need support, do you call upon it? Do you ask the family or friends that you have, the people in your community to support you? We are all one at this time living on this earth. And sometimes we feel like we need to do it all by ourselves. And if we don't do it by ourselves, it's not going to get done or it's not going to be done right, right versus wrong, which truly is not even a thing. It is an illusion because there is no such thing as right or wrong. It's what is your truth in this moment, in this time that you are at in your journey. So if you're going through something at this time, on this journey, in this now moment, do you ask for help? And then if you don't, it's important for you to go inward and ask yourself why. Why don't you trust other people or other community members? to help you. I think we all have to take a good hard look at that because one of the biggest things that I see is that we all try to control an outcome and we think we have to do it this way and if we don't do it the way we think it's supposed to be then it's not going to happen right. That is a limiting belief and that is something that is important to work through. And then on top of that, asking for help can also go to the angels. Do you call upon the angels of divine white light and the archangels and whoever it is that you believe in that is of a higher divine energy? And do you ask them to help you? Because we're humans here on earth. Spirits having a human experience and we have been gifted from our creator free will, which means that the angels could be all around you wanting to help you, but if you don't invite them in and give them permission, they really can't help you. So this card is asking you where in your life do you need to be asking for help, seeking help in whatever it is that you are going through. You might feel like you're a warrior and that's a wonderful thing. Be a peaceful warrior, but even warriors don't stand alone. Sometimes they do, but there's definitely another human on this earth that can help them if they ask. And if you feel like at this time that's not the case, then sit quietly, talk to your angels and ask them to send to you the right people for you to help you in whatever it is that you're going through. That's card number two. And then card number three is chakra balancing. <laughs> Very important card. So I'm a Reiki master and that is what Reiki helps. It helps to balance the chakras. That is one way to help you. It clears all stagnant energy and it helps you to have 
a balanced chakra, but I, I'm hesitating because I'm looking at the rainbow and the rainbow is all of the colors of the chakras. We start with red and we end with the purple. And basically what happens is if you're experiencing something right now or an obstacle or a worry or a fear, which seems to have be coming up through this whole reading, what happens is if we don't acknowledge or feel what we are feeling, what is rising up, it gets stuck in one of the chakras. And then potentially what can happen is if it gets stuck in that chakra, it could cause you a physical pain. So for example, maybe you're in your head space a lot and the color of that chakra is the purple color, the top color here. And if you're in your head a lot, and thoughts keep coming in and coming out and you're nervous and you're fearful and this is where you are. First of all, you're not gonna be grounded, which is the red, which is your root chakra because you're in your head so much. But secondly, what might happen on a physical level is you might develop a headache or you might develop neck pain or part of that crown chakra or possibly Maybe you're not speaking your truth, the throat chakra, which is this blue color here. And you hold back and you don't want to have confrontation and you don't want to have conflict. And I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to say it right now. I'm going to hold off and see what happens. And believe me, pausing is a great thing to do. And sitting quietly and contemplating on what it is that you want to say, is it, is it going to serve the situation or is it going to serve another it's important to definitely take that step but if you feel a burning inside of your solar plexus like we discussed in this card which is this color yellow and you feel this burning but you give your power away instead of taking back your power you close off the throat chakra because you don't speak your truth so this third card, and if you chose card number three, it's time to consider chakra balancing. And as I said, Reiki is a great way to do that. Another way is to speak to someone, ask for help. And sometimes when we speak to someone and truly open up and share what we're feeling, what's coming up through us, it can balance out the chakras just by talking it out just by trying to figure it out, not being resistant, not holding back, letting out everything that you're feeling. Another way is journaling. Journaling is a great way to balance out your chakras because you're getting all of what you feel out onto the paper. There are so many ways to balance the chakras, but if you chose card number three, you must be in a place right now where you're unbalanced. And we need to bring you back to balance. And of course, this is a general reading and everybody can be out of balance for a different reason. But the first step you can take is tuning in, calling upon the creator. Archangel Metatron is the archangel that helps with a chakra clearing, asking them to even just show you what it is that is causing you this imbalance at this time. And then maybe from there, you can determine what it is is going to be your next step. Getting out of nature and walking on the grass or the sand barefoot is a great way to balance out the chakras. So whatever it is and whatever you're going through, know that you're not alone. Know that you have this guidance all around you and know that you need to give them permission to support you. Allow yourself time to quietly sit and see what comes through. Ask for the help. Remember to be grateful through it all with all of the blessings, big or small, that come through you. And know that you're not alone. I hope that this message helped you today and brought something to the forefront of your mind to help you in your healing process. And I wish you a great day and a great week. Talk soon. Bye-bye.